Hello friends, my name is Dane Miller. And I'm Niles Bain, and we are your fuck buddies. We are a dating and sex advice podcast where we take your sticky sexy situations and turn them into sexy sticky, sticky situations. situations. <laughs> yeah, that was... How's it going? Welcome back. Thanks. <sighs> I needed that. Oh, I needed that. I know. I'm so tired. Me too. I'm trying to like regulate my sleep again. Yeah, so fuck I woke, that. I was <laughs> up really late last night and then I woke up really early tonight. Or today. Oh, well, Dane's boy. waking up in the future. That's that's great. So what's exciting about this week's episode is uh, me and Dane have, unlike what we usually do, we've actually set a theme uh, for the week. And what's even more exciting is we're not going to tell you what it is. So you're going to have to figure it out. So we've carefully uh, curated this week's episode's uh, questions uh, to fit into a theme. And uh, let us know what you think it is. First person to get right, uh, you'll see. Do I get to guess as well? <laughs> Go for it. Because I have not done this. What's your first question? Doing the first question? Obviously. We, we planned this out. Uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna jump on this because I found this question and it uh, ties into something we talked about last week. Um, this comes from user, I want more pickles. And the question was... The answer is no. Uh, self-confessed, unempathetic. How would you feel about continuing to date someone who has described themselves as being unempathetic? And stating they are good at feigning empathy for girlfriend's emotions. The dude I'm dating seems like a considerate guy and is generally nice, but I'm concerned by these open admissions in regards to himself. It's been about four weeks. And this is, I, I thought it was a good tie-in to last, last week's, week's I'm uh, a bad person. Yeah, I'm bullshit. a shit person. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know why they're, like, what's the motivation for saying that? It's weird. Like, it's one thing to be like, hey, like, uh, you know, I, I'm not the most receptive to emotions. Uh, so, yeah. like, sometimes you got you, like you have to sort of spell it out for me sometimes because I'm not going to pick up on things. Yeah, like that's one thing. But to, to then be like, I'm really good at faking. Yeah, uh, caring about you. I'm a highly functioning sociopath. Yeah, that's like that's pretty much what he said. Yeah, it's like well, maybe that's what he means. Like maybe he's. It's like it comes from a point of being unsure, but he doesn't really want to say, hey, like. I'm not very good at understanding because it, you know, a lot of people, I think that's a little embarrassing to admit. Like I don't get certain situations. So he's saying that, but then instantly trying to like, but like I'm real good. Like it, it's kind of like a, I'm letting myself be vulnerable for a second, but then I'm going to try seem cool again by saying this thing. Maybe. I think it's, if that's the case, it's really awkwardly, if yeah. not terribly handled, but like, that's the only thing I can maybe like give them the benefit of the doubt is like that's if we want to yeah. go like positive on this there's that if we don't he's the literally just admitted he's a sociopath yeah yeah and there's like like, like the 99 percent of them is a serial killer and one percent of them managed to slip that warning out just to yeah. like it's like just be careful and it's like what no don't worry huh want to see my panel van <laughs> just uh <laughs> Just let me put on these see-through shades. Yeah. Like, you know those glasses with the see-through shades? Hey, I got, like a, I got a weird fetish where I just cover my whole living room in plastic wrap. You want to lie down on there for a second? Hey, hey, don't don't open that. That's my, my cleaver collection. Why do you have two coffin freezers? Oh, look, look, keep my, law me cool. What's up with that radiator? Why are there, like, seven pairs of handcuffs on it? <laughs> Lost the keys to the other six. Huh? I mean, art. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's... He's a serial killer, I'm it's, sure. It's a, a really weird approach. And again, like, I'm assuming it's coming from the same people who, like, say, like, oh, I'm a shitty person. It's coming from that, like, place of insecurity where you're you're giving yourself an out or an excuse yeah, to, like, for avoid hurt later bad behavior, on. Yeah. Or, or even just, like, if you think the, the relationship's not going your way or if you think that like you might get hurt in this relationship you can then play the like I'm an asshole card I'm out bye and that kind of like absolves yeah. you of they, feeling vulnerable you did this thing that was really bad but I told you I was an asshole so therefore it doesn't count yeah like, what that's not how it works it's uh 
it's an odd it's an odd tactic to play it, it's still one i don't really understand no um because all we can do is like try and come up with reasons for it and again if it was just the first half of his conversation of just being like hey like just so you know like my empathy kind of fucked mm-hmm. up and like i i need a hand like that's fine i mm-hmm. like i totally get that like yeah. there are people like people on like the autistic spectrum and stuff mm-hmm. have trouble discerning between v- different emotions so like yeah that's totally that's fine, fine. Yeah. but like to then say that like you're like a master at mm-hmm like pretending well, maybe, to care maybe it was about like people? uh i'm trying maybe this was his like he'd been struggling for like years to understand like maybe a stand-up show or maybe just like walk into a room and just get the atmosphere maybe he always walks in he's like oh shit what's going down everyone's like no that's laughter and he's oh or the opposite he goes into yeah. a funeral and it's just he's like, like <laughs> constantly <laughs> kramer <laughs> enters into the room. yeah so maybe like this was his moment of triumph where that was the person he's, he's closest to at the moment, and he was like, "I'm usually really bad at empathy, but I'm really good at faking emotion." Like, and he he's actually like, "Cause we all have the tone." Maybe he's just like, "I did it." Yeah. Like I'm really good at feigning emotion. I did it. <laughs> I and maybe because he's so bad at tone, it came out like, "I'm uh, I'm real bad with emotion, but I'm real good at faking with my girlfriends," and he never blinks. He just has no means of, like, modulating his... Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe. You know what would be really funny is if he was so bad at emotion that he just did all these things that made him seem like an absolute serial killer all the time, but he just didn't understand that he was being terrifying. Oh, I feel bad for this guy now. Originally, yeah. I was just like, this guy's a fucking dick. Yeah. I think Herb is just trying. Herb? Herb. That's his name? He's just trying, man. I mean, yeah. It's a modern life. It's overwhelming sometimes. Um, so yeah, guys, like, what's what's the advice here? And the advice is to stop saying like these really negative things about yourself that don't seem to have like. <sighs> or if you have, if you discern a negative aspect of your personality, if you are self aware enough to know that it's there, yeah, fix it. Take strides to improve yourself like and, don't and i think this one is a lot more forgivable than i'm a bad person yeah like because because that you can fix if you are like really bad at like emotion sure maybe don't try and phrase it in a way that makes you seem untrustworthy yeah becoming more empathetic is a, is a much more lofty goal than yeah just not being shit yeah not being a mm. dick so i think in that case just be a little bit more like don't be afraid to just admit you're down like you're I'm not saying downfall, drawback, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. The don't don't be afraid to admit the negatives. You don't then have to like try back it up with, because like I do think when you say that, and this is probably why my question asked her, ask her posted, is because it sounds kind of sinister, and it sounds like it makes you seem a little untrustworthy. Oh, hundred percent. And maybe that's not what you were aiming for, but don't don't do that. Like you can admit the. He literally said, like, the fem- like the emotional foundation of his relationships mm-hmm. are made up. Yeah, and that's not a very reassuring thing to hear. No. So I think in that situation, if you are about emotion, sure, admit that, but you don't then go ahead and say something that sounds real skeevy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thematic question one. Do, boop, 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 I boop, think boop. my next question is really going to pull it together. I think that's when everyone's well, going to get it. Is. it. Well, the question is, I want to make friends so bad, but I'm already the... Weird kid. Male, 16-year-old. Yeah, you're fucked. Get out. You're done. I don't know. What was it? was there a whole lot of details? Or was that is that the gist of it? It was, it was, like, there was nothing really dramatic. It was, like, in school, like, he, you know, he was one of those people who always make, like, bad jokes or, like, you know, puns or just, you know, he, he I think he so tried a little too hard. you. All of us. You make horrible jokes. Me? Yeah. I make the best jokes. And there you go. That's a good one right there. Um, yeah, exactly. Like I, I've done that. I know a lot of people do that. Um, I think if you are making bad jokes, the the key is to like, no one know they're bad. Like, don't don't take them too seriously. And like, that's the main part. Like, if you actually make a fucking horrendous joke and think it's really funny, that's when things start get getting wrong. Like, yeah. if you make it with the full acknowledgement that it's bad and like you're laughing at how bad it is, you know, you gotta roll with it. But I think like. Yeah, it, that was basically it. Like, he just, he's worried that he's established himself as the weird kid and won't make any friends now. And, like, he's looking to kind of, like, 
broaden his horizons. I think the thing is, it's like 16, high school is fucking terrible, mm-hmm. and you might not find your people. I promise you, in like college, you probably will because the the like scope of of people. Yeah, you've a lot more like, freedom. Your established persona that I, either you've done or other people have done for you in high school uh, is gone. Like mm-hmm. you're you're walking in kind of with a clean slate. Um, there's also like a lot more opportunity to join people like groups with a more specific focus into things mm-hmm. that you like. Yeah, you know you've got I mean? like you can narrow it the fuck down. Yeah, like, you like can join a surfing club. You can go to thing, like yeah. rock climbing club. You can go to like literally anything. Old movie club. Like yeah. I mean like my school, I remember there the was a club. there was like a black and white movie night. Yeah. And like every week they would choose like a black and white movie that they would watch. Mm-hmm. Um But that's future. So the thing is worst case, you got hope. You got like year two, three, I don't know how it works over here. I assume it's in It's usually four years. In high school. What? No, but he's 16. Two years? Oh, man, I Out don't by know. 18? I, my high school career was fucked. I was done school when I was 16. What? So What? Yeah. Okay. I, went, I was in college when I was 17. What? Are you seriously? Yeah. This I was I was done college when I was 19. We can talk about this later. <laughs> um. So basically, yeah, in, in Ireland, you're out by like 17, 18. You yeah, know? I think it's more or less the same thing. Yeah. Occasionally 19. Um, but usually 18. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but anyway, so you got that hope. So that's the main thing is like, you're good in the future. But I think in high school, I think one thing to be like, just be a nice person. You know what I mean? Like, don't try and like, like, don't let it, people change you. Like, don't be bitter and like retaliatory. And also yeah. if someone is nice to you, don't try and be mean to them to impress other people. Because I have seen that there was a kid in, in a school I went to before that, like, people were kind of just, like, hard on him. And uh, I didn't really, like, when I came, I was a little bit new or whatever. So I was, like, I'm, I'm a pretty friendly fucking person, I like to think. So I was friendly to the person. And then he would turn around to the people who were being mean to me, to him, and try to be mean to me to make them happy. And they didn't give a fuck. They were just mean to him Those again. Yeah, and they, then I was, like, fuck you. Don't try to, don't, like, look at people as, like like echelons in a social order that, yeah. that you can then like rank up through. Yeah. Um, if you like someone, be nice to them and treat them well. If you don't, then like be polite, but yeah, you I don't mean, have like, to like get up in them. I think I, I slotted into, it's a weird way of phrasing You that. slotted into who? Um, I slotted into a lot of like different cliques in high school. Like mm-hmm. I was, I was like in the weightlifting class, you know what I mean? So like I fit in with the jocks. I was, then I went into like photography and art and drama. Like my last semester at school was, uh, gym, art, photography, drama. Yeah. Like, that was my last year or last semester in school. Um, what the fuck happens in school over here? Don't worry about it. Gym, um, art, photography, drama. Were they, they were classes? Yeah. And you left school when you were 16. Did you go to school? I kind of, like, cheese the system. Because it's, like, based on, like, a credit system, right? You had to have, like, a certain amount of Englishes, a certain amount of math, a certain amount of sciences. Man. Uh, and certain classes, like, drafting counted as science. So you better believe... I took a fucking drafting course and skipped a science course. School in Ireland is really intense and really hard. Um, and we don't get to do that. Yeah, you don't know what I went through in woodworking? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Even just the system, like, there's no, like, you do six years of school and none of that counts. You have two weeks of, like, intense examinations that literally give you the points that determine whether or not you get into university. But, like, you could get all A's and just be ill that week. And it's like, oh, sorry. Six years down the drain. Nope, mm-hmm. not me. Um, yeah, so I think clubs, we raised that point. Um, I yeah. think he was saying he kind of wanted to like join one. And I think that's a really good way to do it because it's it's hard to just latch onto someone in the wild, you know what I mean? If you're just like out in the playground or like in the mess hall or whatever the yeah. fuck North America does, climb on the rope. Do you, did you guys have a rope? Uh, yep. God damn it. It's like the movies. I mean, we didn't have one in high school. Did anyone, we uh, had one in, oh. in junior high. What the elementary. fuck is the difference? What's junior high? So junior high is like grade six to eight. And then high school is <sighs> nine to 12. I have no idea what he's saying. So you split high school in two? I mean, some, some do. Oh my God. Anyway, this is our school explanation podcast. <laughs> That's the theme. You guessed um, it. Me explaining North shit. American school systems to Nile. Um, yeah. So like. I think joining a club because it separates people for, unless like one whole like click is in the club. But even then it's like you, you have all this kind of like set aside time with people and like it's a little bit out of everybody's established life. So you can like have a little bit of one-on-one, try to develop something there. 
and it's and it's something you can like carry like if it again if it's like a movie club or something you can then be like hey do you guys want to go see a movie like yeah. Friday night yeah. and then like you can do things outside of school mm-hmm. and that becomes sort of like a also like understand that high school's fucked and like the people who might like who are your friends in these things like sometimes it might be awkward for them because like they're scared of their own like social reprisal yeah there's there's a whole bunch of stuff so like if someone is if someone is your friend but then sort of like shies away from you in sort of classes like maybe in front of a girl they like or whatever um don't take it personally and don't hold it like it sucks but like they're also just as confused and like terrified of everything as you are probably as well you know what i mean like there's I, th- I think you back can to empathy. Like you can put yourself in other people's shoes and realize that, like, what if this is herb from oh six time years time ago? Yeah, um, I don't know how long ago this was posted. That's fair because I didn't look. Uh, another thing to do is like you can join clubs and shit outside of school. Yeah, and yeah. that way, you, like, you're going in again fresh. as like a fresh. Yeah. No one has that sort of preconceived notion of who you are, or what your mm-hmm. personality is. So, like, I think yeah, I think honestly, you should do both. Yeah. Right, like go join like a kickboxing class or like a fucking woodworking or, or something. Like find your passion, and one you're gonna have an in with everybody. Like join the D and D league. Yeah, like depending on what you're Most into, cities have like a game thing, and like almost yeah. every game place has like a night where they do. I like Pathfinder, D and D, or like Magic, or like some sort something, of like yeah. organized play. And like again, if that is not up your alley, don't do it. But like whatever is up your alley, go and do that. And if it's in your school, great. If it's not still great like you'll be more confident and happy if you have good friends outside the school and then that'll help you in school and also just like i think on top of the being nice thing like again like just be a good person like don't try and be petty and don't let people beat you down if they're being shit like you yeah like rise above it because that's never going to stand to you and if but on the same time don't be a pushover like, yeah, I mean, like my, being I was, nice doesn't mean just letting people walk all over you. You know I, what I mean? I I meant to like get around to it when I was talking about like how I I fit into like sort of all of the mm-hmm. the groups, but like there were still sort of like the popular ones that didn't like me because I kind of like I didn't really give a shit about it. Like my goal literally in high school was to get out of high school, mm-hmm. which is evident by how young I but was you, when I left. When you left at eleven. Um. Yeah. So like I didn't really like want to play the whole like high school social drama Jousting. thing so it was just sort of like if someone was nice to me i was nice to them mm-hmm. if if someone was a dick to me i would either be like sarcastically nice to them mm-hmm. or just ignore them yeah um and it got to the point where like i was this sort of expert level troll for the people who were supposed to be like the most popular kids and when i was around they kind of like weren't Mm-hmm. because like nothing none of their shit bothered me yeah exactly and, and that's think, another thing like if, if you're not bothered by things like people don't really have much power you know what i mean and I mean, like that definitely works a lot better for like verbal things that's the thing yeah if it's, things, if it's a right? physical altercation like that that's gonna suck and yeah then, you can't just be not bothered by punches yeah. although if you can that's oh, gonna look real badass man, if, you, if you yeah maybe that's your like learn to take a punch yeah then somebody you're the weird guy you're just the guy who can fucking just take a beating yeah somebody once headbutted me but like they did a really bad job of it and hit me in the cheekbone which is like pretty solid part of your face like pretty much anywhere else on your face is awful your teeth your nose your eyes apart from maybe, maybe your forehead but, like, it's the best place to get hit. Someone, like, headbutted me there. And aside from the fact that it was a really good place, it was also kind of surprising because I didn't expect it. So I literally just blinked and, like, looked at them. And everyone's like, ooh. And you're like, yeah, I feel like a badass, even though I'm just a little surprised. And you've got bad aim. So do that. Yeah, just get get someone to punch you in the face till your face is just like a fortress. And then go challenge the biggest boy. Yeah, and prison the biggest rules. Girl. Yeah, just... Walk in one day and just hit someone with a fucking chair. I mean, like, yeah. you're all my friends now. Bring, don't. like, a 45-pound weight and just drop it on someone. Ooh, yeah, just be, behead style. someone. No, don't do this. Don't I think they're do. from America. People do weird shit don't in schools in America. any of this. Um, but, yeah, like, if somebody, like, makes a joke at your expense or gives you a nickname, like, that only becomes funny if it upsets the person, you know what I mean? If you're just like, all right, cool. And, like, just if, if you seem, if you're unflappable, people aren't going to, like, continue that shit but like you know be nice be oh what's that don't worry about it you motherfucker drop that phone not today all right you ready for another sure well just yeah like i was uh i was in the same situation with you like i was like captain of the debating team but also like 
one of the people skipping school to go get drunk in like fucking rock concerts downtown. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't me. Really? Oh yeah, you didn't drink. I didn't drink until I was twenty-two. Yeah, no, like I literally was like almost like we get to the third round of the literal historical society of Trinity College like uh, debating team when I was the captain. While at the same time, I would skip so I could go get drunk at a Halloween party at a like gig downtown and make out with people. Um, and like I was friends with all the art people, all the oh, popular I was, people. I was making all out. the, uh, you know, like, um, but I think one of the main reasons was because like I was nice to people. Like I wasn't, like I didn't pick and choose if you were cool, like, and I mean cool and like the, oh, they're a good person. Yeah. Like if you were friendly to me, I was friendly back. It wasn't like a competition. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like a social capital thing. Um, I think that that's important. And like some people are shit, but don't let that make you shit. Um, and just like follow the things that make you happy. That's pretty much the point. Anyway, yeah. Next question in the, the theme. Uh, and I, I think if you don't get it by now, you're in bad shape. Um, this comes it's from... It's about to get cleared up, though. ...user Yorkshire Last 32 um, She says, My boyfriend is a DL and wants me to participate. Advice needed. DL? Oh, I think it'll be quite clear what that means. I don't know where to start. Me and my boyfriend have been together a year. About nine months ago, shortly into our relationship, he gave me the dare to buy some Tina ladies. Uh, thinking I wouldn't, uh, I did, and I put one on. Wait, I'm sorry. Start uh, again. Tina ladies are adult diapers for women. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I now know this is where it started. From what I can gather, he now looked further know? into, and it became a fetish. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it was it... only when we moved in together and I went on his computer, I saw he was looking at diaper porn, pics of women wearing them, clearly for his pleasure. I confronted him, and we discussed it, and I looked it up online. We stayed together, and to a degree I accepted it. I started to participate. He said it blew his mind. He's always been great with me and so thoughtful in the bed department, and it wasn't always fetish play, although I feel like he wanted it more. I've always had an issue with him watching stuff and looking at his stuff online, but he promised me that he would stop. We've been uh, great for ages. He's asked me about wedding diapers. I said I couldn't do it. Um, Sorry, wedding diapers? Wetting. Or wetting diapers. Wetting. Because no, no, I no. now want to look up and see if people get married in diapers. Oh, you know they do. You know they do. Uh, he said, or he asked me about wedding diapers. I couldn't do it, but uh, if I went on the toilet, I could, and he seems okay with this. I had to go on his computer that morning, or this morning, and couldn't help but checking what he looked at. Videos of girls dirtying their diapers brackets pooing I blew my top with him and I now and now I really want to know uh, what to do I don't know how I feel about it and I know I'm so upset he's been looking again and lied to me I honestly don't know if there's something I can do or accept and I don't know what to say to him we're going to talk tonight but I don't know what to do I'm looking for advice if anyone has been in a similar situation I love the bones of him that's the most... <laughs> also a serial killer, I guess. Yeah. Um, but surely there has to be a limit of what one can do and accept. Thanks in advance. Yes, our bridal diapers all the rage. Thank I, you, that radio station, for <laughs> posing that question. I, I, I'm i sorry. I basically didn't listen to a word you said because I looked up wedding diapers and there's a diaper with bride and two butterflies printed on the back of it and our bridal diapers all the rage. Are they? If they are, I've been left out of the loop. Yeah. Uh, this is why I don't believe in marriage. A growing number of women are wearing bridal diapers on their wedding day. Well, I get it. That dress is huge. Imagine you had to pee. Imagine. Just, hey, fuck it. It's like, how was what, your uh, wedding? Like, I shit myself. Yeah, you know what you didn't do? You didn't fucking drop your dress, your fucking thousand dollar dress in the toilet. You didn't shit on that. Oh, no. You we shat in it. And we have a, a. Anyway, we have a question. I can't this, even focus this. This lady. Wants okay, so know. the thing is, what I love is I thought it was going to be a diaper fetish question, and it's not. It's a watching porn question. Yeah. I, She's upset about him watching porn. Yes. And the diapers are all window dressing. However, that's, I believe, when it started. No, that's not when it started. Yeah, that no, he, going on. He long... dared you, and like he was yeah. like, oh, shit, wow. Oh, oh this, this might be it. What, the coinky ding? No, no. No one just dares someone to wear fucking diapers. No one just whips that up out of cold, yeah. like, oh. thin air. Hey, hmm. hey, you know what would be funny now? That's a crazy idea. You know what would be really cool? Really, really funny? Maybe if, uh, maybe if you just go buy some diapers and put them on. 
oh, that's just so wacky. I might just do it. No, like, y- Chigurl is a little... And that's when Nile started loving diapers. Mm, I was wondering why your jeans are looking so padded down there. <laughs> that's why. Mm. <laughs> and you haven't gone to the bathroom in the last 17 hours. Yep. You have slowly gotten more stanky. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like... <laughs> the innocence. Yeah, this, this is a porn question. It, it's, uh, I'm not okay with him watching porn. Uh, I, I don't know if that's fair. Do you think that it, that it would be more palatable to her if it was just two people fucking? No. And not... Uh, it it not strikes me as so she's using the diaper play as like a... Because she doesn't seem that adverse to it. Like the, the diaper well, I mean, play yeah, itself. She, she literally wore a diaper and, and yeah. used it on the toilet. Yeah, like she doesn't actually seem that bothered by that. It's the porn, but I think she's trying to make it seem like she's adding all the diaper stuff to make it seem a little bit more outlandish and thus get more people on her side. I think she's just upset with him watching porn. Whether or not that's fair, I think, is the question. And I I don't know. I feel like most people watch porn or get external stimulus. And if you're in a relationship, you should expect that and not be, you know, I I think it's kind of unfair to expect someone to just be like, well, you're my only source of... Yeah, sexual release. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, what if one day you're not home or you don't want to do anything, which is totally allowed, but your boy horny or your girl horny. Yeah. And they want to touch their bits. And they're like, damn it, I've ruined... Oh, I've... Well, obviously, thematically, we have the best question next because we planned this. But we'll get to that. Yeah, I mean, like, I... I don't I like I literally need like a visual stimulus to jerk off. Like I I'm not one of those people who can just like jerk it in the shower. It's not it's not like a thing. I've never jerked off in the shower. Uh shower. Mm. Um or I've like, definitely jerked off in the shower, but I, you no. know what? I can do both, but I feel like so I have this friend who was <laughs> like wildly massively against porn. He was like, I will never watch porn because I've honed my mind into this amazing, like, just fantasy machine and he's worried that porn will ruin it. And apparently he just... (laughs) He was, like, real real aggressive about it. It was great. But that was his thing. He was like, I'll never watch porn because I feel like it'll ruin my internal theater. (laughs) He swears by it, so... Oh, I thought you were going to say that, like, one day he watched porn and just, like, you haven't seen him since. I haven't seen him. Just locked in like sort of a clockwork orange. Type. I haven't seen them in about fifteen years. Um. So, but yeah, I, I think like she's upset about the porn, and I guess the fact that he promised not to and then did, which is a different issue too. Um. Because it, you know, you're breaking the trust of somebody. You yeah. have lied whether or, or broken a promise, whether or not you intended to. Um. Which are two issues. Like I think maybe if he was gonna look at porn, which obviously he was going to, he needed to bring that up and not agree to it. Because yeah. agreeing to it and then breaking someone's trust, not so cool, but I do feel like it, it is understandable. And it's one of those things where, like, this is a pretty very, like, a, a very specific kind of fetish where, mm-hmm. like, I think now more than ever, porn should be allowed where you're like, hey, I, like, this isn't something, like, well, if, that- if, I'm, if I'm not into doing this, if you want to, like, sort of satisfy that fetish, mm-hmm. by all means, go to the people who are, like, consensually doing these things for literally the purpose that you are looking for. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing is like, she, she will like, and fair play to her. Like she's been fulfilling a, a bunch of it, but like there are clearly things that are a little bit more extreme than that, that she's not into. And he clearly is. So it's like, would it not be better for him to watch a video, which again, like I I don't know about the state of the industry and whether or not that particular facet is better or worse for women. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm not qualified to speak on that. So I hope that that's not a thing that I'm woefully ignorant about that. Like, Oh, all the diaper play, it's horrible and I should never be supporting it. Yeah. Um, so if that's something I don't know about, I'm sorry, but like in general, it, it's, if he's not getting an outlet there, and, you know, it's, it's going to cause a whole bunch of things. And it does sound like a more harmless type of porn. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, again, like, like you're as, just as long as it's in a diaper, you can adults. Just, like, you can just go wipe off after. You're not... Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I do feel like a lot of questions deal with, like, the... I don't like my boyfriend or girlfriend watching porn. And I do feel like it's it's kind of unfair to expect someone to just cut themselves off from all external stimulus but you. Yeah. Um, it's different if, like... 
if you find them like jerking off to like pictures on Facebook or Instagram, you know what I mean? Like like pictures of like, their friends or like yeah, your friends yeah. or, or like, like an ex's like yeah. you saved a whole phone, you know, that that's any, one thing. Any of that kind of stuff, like I totally get it because there's there's an there's emotional more, yeah, attachment yeah. to it and, and it could like mean like he might be able to actually have sex with those people. Exactly. It, if it's, they're part of his life. Whereas like porn, these are uh consenting adults mm-hmm. who have made media specifically for the consumption of sexual mm-hmm. pleasure. Yeah. Or viewing pleasure at the mm-hmm. very least. Um so like yeah, it's whatever. Like to assume that your partner isn't going to masturbate Listen, in, in, a, in, a, in a relationship you're is always gonna a masturbate. crazy. Yeah. Um, and also harmful. Like if you didn't let someone masturbate, yeah, and, you, and that you, would probably be like sexual yeah, harassment. And then or you something. were then like, oh, by the way, sex is like now under like your sexual pleasure is now under my complete strict, lock and key. Yeah, yeah, strict like command. Yeah, that's crazy. Exactly. Um, and like to like unless they're looking at some real fucked up shit, I don't really think you have the right to be like you can't look at porn or you can't look at you know. Yeah, there there are some things that I think that like warrant a discussion like if there's any sort of like very violent or like uh any sort of like rape fantasy like that kind of stuff like mm. i think might worth be like hey that kind of concerns me that that's and if and you know what i mean like if there's if there's a reason for it or if there's like mm. a, a conversation and they understand that it's fake and consenting adults and they don't have like any desire to yeah act on reenact it. but that's that a stuff. whole different question yeah. um yeah um but for this i, I think like you found a dude who seems to treat you well. Yeah. Other than this sort of like lapse in judgment and telling you he'd stop but didn't. Yeah, I, I feel like that was uh there was no way he intended to keep that promise. Yeah. Um which again he shouldn't have made. And but, it was like know. it was also probably because like he felt ashamed of Yeah. This this fetish. Yeah. Um because that's the thing, he probably wasn't sure. Like in this question, I'm not entirely sure whether it's the porn or the fetish that's bothering you. I, yeah. I do think it is the porn. But yeah, I, I agree. I think it is. Yeah. Um, so I think I think it breaks down to um, understand that like your partner is going to have exterior sexual release um, outside of sex with you uh, or sexual encounters with you. And that's not to say that like you should let them cheat. But like if they're if they're using masturbation as a sexual release, that's fine. That's healthy and normal and like 100 percent. Yeah. Fine. Like good. Yeah. Um, so, and two, if if someone has a fetish that you're not willing to accommodate, if they then want to explore that fetish in sort of like a loyal, like a you know, what if mean? they're like gonna a, a get the release through porn and continue yeah. dating and having sex with you, and you're cool, with, like that, why not? Right? Then you, that's kind of like your way to like everyone wins. Yeah. Right. And and again, if there's something that you're strictly against, then you have to like sit down and be like. I'm super not okay with you watching porn. And, like, yeah. if, if that's something you want to pursue, then we maybe we need to call it off. Yeah. Because, like, this happened, like, nine months ago. And they've been together for a year. Or, like, you know what I mean? Presumably between nine months and now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's not that current of a relationship. Granted, apparently they live together, but... That's so. Oh, that's a whole other problem. It's it's one of those things where, like, you kind of have to, like... If, if someone does something that isn't okay with you by your standards then, yeah. then you have to maybe cut the t- like you need to have a talk about it. you need to communicate and like whether it's fair or not for you to feel that way is kind of irrelevant if you can't continue the relationship yeah. if they don't you know and if that's the thing it's you, you either choose to like you change your change mind or you or, end the relationship or leave, you know what I mean like you, know? you can't really rely on people to constantly change to accommodate your belief system yeah that shouldn't really that's not a good relationship yeah um yeah so just I don't know. Okay, hit me with this new question. All right, uh, this is by Cam King with a K. Uh, do you ever just get tired of looking at ass slash dick slash pussy slash boobs, and just feel like, come on, universe, give me something new? Holy shit, are we coming up with a new genital? Mm-hmm. A new sexy bit? Do you want? Do you want the edit now or later? Uh, is it? His, it's later. It's later. Is it his idea? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, it's it's to explain the question further. Um, one, I don't know if I would ever get bored of looking at booty. No, no, or, or boobs, or any of it. Like you know, what I, mean? I like, could, I could 
take or leave vaginas. Like, no. I love vagina, but like, I used to have a girl who would send me like close up pictures of her vagina, and that doesn't do it for me. Yeah, that's, but, but it's that, one of those things where I'm just different, like, right? I'm good. You know what I mean? It's it's like if I just sent you like close up pictures of like a butt cheek, or like close up pictures of like a boob. Hey, but, like, if the it's, thing is, if it's the whole boob, mm, if it's if it's the boob, but like uh, maybe pair. parts of it. But what I'm saying is like you can't watch porn. You can't watch a dick go into a, a vagina. You can't watch somebody deftly play with their clitoris you know what i mean like what do you mean i can't do that if in this world where you're bored of them right oh i see like what i'm saying is like you're not just getting a flat like hey here you go like i i once got the goddamn more like it's all about the mise en scene right you just get a flat vagina picture sure whatever maybe it's cool maybe it's not depends yeah, how horny you are like at a, the time a balsamic glaze like a Ooh, grizzle damn like some edible flowers all right kyle crawford fucking like Pistachio crumble? Yeah. Mm. I don't know what the fuck I'm making with I, balsamic and pistachio. Well, a a that vagina problem. picture, apparently. Yeah. Um, but, like, y- you need those things in, like... Anyway, yeah, the worst vagina thing I ever got sent was a video of somebody masturbating, and it was, like, this quick flick, like, from down, like, this close-up of just, like, this finger mashing a clit to, like, r- before you almost know what's going on, it would flick right back up to, like, this triple chin, like, maniac stare to right back down, to right back up, and that was it. And it was like maybe seven seconds, and I was like, "Girl, work on your camera work." It was anyway. It was alarming. Imagine what she could have done with boomerang. It felt like a boomerang, you know. Anyway, so that's the thing. It's like, yeah, sometimes these aren't going to always do it for you, but to just be sick of them in general. Also, what's left? What do we make? Because the thing is, right, penis. It comes out. It's, it's prominent. It's turgid. Vagina. It goes in. It's you know, warm and moistened mm-hmm. so we need something dry and we need something that maybe no. like okay are maybe we, like are we hug. making a brand new part of our body or are we using something that exists currently like are we on our bodies yes or are uh, we or are we coming up with a brand okay, new both. all new okay i'm saying on our bodies get more into knees and elbows i, I was 100 percent gonna say weenus. exactly right? it's already got the name exactly and they're they're underrepresented in all forms of media um a lot uh, of marsh I don't. I don't want to go back to New Girl, but uh, Zoe Deschanel's knees in that show do it for me. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. Well, you always go the whiskey shower. Uh, that's weird. Uh, I'm not going to say it, but uh, go back and watch New Girl. Nick Miller's wrists. Oh, We've already hairy, read some hairy wrists. Mm, uh, um, deflection, but no knees and knees and elbows need more love. Uh, but in the form of making a new genital. The opposite of both. Not going in, not receiving, but wrapping around. I'm thinking chest mandibles, right? Ooh. Dry chest mandibles. It's mm. so like you go in for a hug and you just clink. Like oh, just, and it just kind of pulls you in. That, yeah. Just that like extra like... So it's almost... Couple inches. Yeah, or like just, it's just that extra inch. You, you know what I mean? pull you in close. So it's, 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 it's almost like, like when intimate. You get, yeah, it's like you when know? you get that hug and you manage to like get your hand on the lower back and the... You know what I mean? And get like... Just get a little closer. Ooh, that's a little weird. No. But yeah, dry mandibles is mine. Go. <sighs> okay. Um, now, do these derive sexual pleasure? Or are they just there for sexual appeal? Well, because like both, you could, you know, you can pinch your dick between a mandible and your stomach and just kind of like, you know, almost like a tit job, but a little different because it's dry. A so job. you also scrape off the new skin and or the old skin no nope. that new yeah probably the new skin too no it it, it also has a time warp field so it scrapes off your old skin to better pleasure in the past because you got that new dick skin um your turn i think mine would be i, I agree with you it's gotta it's gotta be like an encasing thing and i think mine would be almost like a a drop net that comes out of you so you've got like you've got like a trap door in your butt in, no, kind of like in the in, in the go- like pubis gooch? region, in and your it, gooch. Yeah, and it opens up, and this like uh, this net, or sort of like you know those sticky hands that you'd get from the like yeah. the like vending machines. You for, just like, want to kind of poo on someone, kind of, but like, <laughs> but like it, it'll like it like it gets you, and then it goes back inside. Okay, and then I'll it's like, like it. well, but I got gotcha. you, and it, then it goes back. Does inside. it taste them? Do you have taste buds on it? Oh, I think so. Okay, 
I think I think it's got like all of the senses, but while all five of them. While I think it has. I think it can see, ooh. smell. So it's a whole taste, other feel participant. Yeah. Is it in a hand shape? Um, it's. It, I think it's going to be like, yes, but like Twist, two hands it's in a dick shape. He two, doesn't want it anymore. Two two like hands. Oh, okay. Like touching together, each other yeah. at the wrist. Okay. Almost like a star, like a starfish mm-hmm. kind of. Okay. Um, and you can like you can latch on and then like. Also, like if you re- if they really want it, if you both have it as mm-hmm. well, you can like have them touch. And you don't have to do anything. You can avatar, and you just, and you just sort of like you can avatar. Connect. I don't know what that is. I've never seen Avatar. We, their, their tails touch. That's how they fuck. They just have them tail mandibles. Oh my, well, just tail mandibles. We've done it. Ooh, or tentacles. Tail. Everyone's already into tentacles. Yeah, so. tentacles. Japan's yeah. got that. But idea. if we dry mandible them, pull them close, what can you do with your little under slapper? Which I'm now calling it. Oh, you just, they just like, they just come out just a little bit. Just like the. Just like, a little, and then you gotta swing it up and yeah, get and them they, on the back. Just like, oh, okay. Yeah, just, wow, we have solved this so hard. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the edit, which explains more of where he's coming from. Edit. I was raised in a household where nudity wasn't a problem. Yep. So, so he's I guess just, he's just traumatized by yeah, seeing his, he's just his like, mom all, and dad's bits all this I whole time. See, like, when I see boobs, I see my mom's boobs. And yeah. when I see dicks, when I look down, I see my father's mustache. Ooh. Call That's child it. services. Yeah. He can't help but to shave his pubes in like a mustache shape. Yeah. And then get grounded by it. <laughs> <laughs> his dick is constantly telling him to do the dishes. So maybe... You Have sh- you done your chores yet, <laughs> Daniel? It's like the the most depressing wanks. Uh, yeah, just maybe people with clothes on is your thing, bud. Hey, man, like, uh, I can't remember what the fuck it's called. But there's, like, a specific porn genre of, like, people fucking yeah. in clothes. And, like, let me tell you, I think I think that does it for me, too. It's like, pretty fun. Like, clothes, sex. Um, well, clothes, sex is fun to have, too. Yeah. Even just, like... To a degree. Like, there you know, is it's just, something. there's something about, like, the franticness of just, like, get down a little bit and you're in. Yeah. And there's, and there's something about, like, especially if the girl's wearing, like, a looser top. Mm-hmm. Like, seeing, seeing shake, movement yeah. through sort of, like, loose fabric. Mm-hmm. That's, well, it accentuates it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, that's why I love when, like, girls wear your shirt to bed. My shirt? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a little stack of Nile shirts. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, because if you have morning sex the next day, they're wearing, like, your yeah. loose-fitting yeah. tee. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. gets me. I know. Well, I think, like, we've been the new genitals, so, uh, we're really honing in on that theme. Not to give any hints. This is by Reddit user Seeker304. Clingy versus being together. <laughs> All of my friends who are in relationships don't have time for friends anymore. Lame. They just stick with their partner all the time. Every time I make a post on here, I'm told I'm clingy. Why is this the case? Too long didn't read. How does a couple become mutually clingy, thereby no longer being clingy, but becomes defined as being a couple? What? So I think what he's saying is, like, when people become boyfriend and girlfriend or enter into a relationship, mm-hmm. they tend to, like... Friends tend to like get pushed to the peripheral, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they they tend to spend a lot of their time together. True. I think what he's actually trying to do is he's being called clingy because he's like, "I want my friends," and they're all off with boyfriends and girlfriends. But now he's trying to call them. He's like, "Well, no, they're I... so clingy. How is it that their their level of clinginess is okay because they're boyfriend girlfriend, but my level's not cool?" I don't think I don't think it's a friend. I think he's literally clingy as fuck, and then now trying to be like, "Well, what about them? Yeah, aren't that's what they I'm saying. clingy? That's aren't, Literally, I said. Oh, I thought you said he wants to hang out with his friends. Well, doesn't he also want to hang out with his friends? No, no, no. I think I think he's jealous that the people who are in relationships who don't see their friends aren't considered clingy. True, but I also think he's upset because he wants to see his friends. I don't think so. Does he not? No. Oh, so he's saying his past post history, not about this issue. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's... Oof. Yeah. I was going to talk about how people... In relationships, should definitely still see their friends. Well, I think if you don't, you fucked up. I think that's I think that's what we need to talk about. Okay, but also this guy is on a whole another level. Yeah, of yeah. Just... No, I think I think his like his big concern is like he's like, well, why do they get to, like why aren't you calling people in relationships clingy when I like if I just want to hang out with this one person and not see my friends anymore yeah. and only want them to hang out with me and yeah. not see their friends anymore? Why am I the clingy yeah. one when you're not calling them clingy? I think that's his yeah. stance. Well, I think this boy is fucking crazy. Yeah, this boy's just an, another serial killer. Wow, we have a second theme. This wasn't the intended <laughs> theme, but most people on this question list today kill people. That's terrifying. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think we loosely talked about it 
uh, for the one about like the the young kids who are looking for something other than sex. Oh to do. yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, but okay. Let me let me throw this one couple. This poor Je- Jem Jemabel and Jivabub uh, into the future, and Jemabel and Jivabub. They they've been doing so good. They just been, spend every day together, but they, you know, it's been a year, and then something happens, right? Jimabub, he's back on that diaper porn, and his emotional unsureness, he's not very good with emotions, empathy, it's not his thing. So he's not able to correctly have this communicative speech with his girlfriend, Jimma Bell. Um, Can we go to Lisa and Jim, maybe? Sure. So Lisa, Lisa doesn't, you know, it doesn't work, because his lack of emotional awareness doesn't let him discuss this with her properly. Diaper porn's too much. Uh... She's sick of boobs, cock, bum, and vaginas because uh, she saw her parents naked so many times. And they break up. And all of a sudden, they ain't got no buds because they haven't seen their friends in a fucking year. And you know what? That sucks. Yeah. And then they have to, like, wheedle their way back in. And everyone's like, oh, nice to see you again, bud. Look what the cat dragged in. And then you've missed every private joke, every boozy Sunday brunch. Uh, it, it's just not a good way to be. If your friends don't mean that much to you, then they're not your friends. Like, if your boyfriend or girlfriend is not okay with you hanging out with other people, then you need to end that relationship or fix it because you need to see other people. Like, we're social fucking beasts. You need to have friends. You need, you know, like, yeah. it's just one of those things. And I've seen it. And, like, we've all done it. And it's great to hang out with your significant other a lot. That's cool. But you really can't let it take over your life. No. I mean, like, the only thing that's changed in terms of our hangouts is we're just like not hitting on women. Like we're not like, you know what I mean? Like we're not mm-hmm. actively pursuing yeah, like romantic affection from people because like yeah. we, but even then it's not like that's all we did. You no, know? I know like that, like, but that's like, that's the only difference. Yeah. Like we still go out like still tonight, bars. we're literally we're still, going out, tonight we're going out after right this. after this and, and going to have some drinks with the boys. Yeah. And like um, it, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, you're, you're not doing yourself or your friends or your significant other a favor if you're just, like, abandoning the rest of your life. Like, so things are going to go stale. I and... think I think my my day-to-day is a perfect example of what we're talking about here. Mm-hmm. Um, Amanda and I had the day off tonight, um, or, like, all day today, off had together. The day off tonight? Um, what is temporally happening with you today? You know what I mean? Like, we had a I, day I, off. I'm, I'm fucking with you. Um, and, it, and it's rare. But you're waking we, up later. Yeah. Um, Sorry. But, like, we had already made plans to go have drinks with mm-hmm. one of our friends who's had, like, a rough... W- like, he's just been living at work. He's been working all the time, and we so love him. So, we had already made plans to, like, go out and, like, celebrate his his completion of the current job he's working on. Um, and Amanda was like, oh, hey, like, do you want to hang out? I was like, I'm sorry, I already made plans with the guys, um, but let's go grab lunch. So, like, today, we I woke up early so that I could go and have lunch with her, and we spent sort of, like, the day together. And then, because she knew... That I was doing something tonight, she's out doing burlesque shit tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's like, she's out doing her Hanging own out with thing. Her friends. Doing her own personal life. Like, I have no connection to that world. So, like, mm-hmm. she's literally, yeah. we have, like, removed ourselves from this relationship. We're doing our own fucking thing, and then we're going to come home and go to bed together. And now we're doing the podcast, and we're going to go out, meet the boys, have some drinks. Yeah. It's going to be great. But, like, um, that's, that's the thing. That's healthy because, like, you need, it's like plants. You can't overwater a plant or give it too much sun, I think. Either way, you will suffocate. You will drown. You will... Or or you'll just become weirdly codependent and it'll suck. Like, you really need other people, other situations, yeah. other... Uh, everything. You, you need these things or else... Like, there's a reason. Like, every Monday night, yeah, Amanda knows. That's, that's boy day. Mm-hmm. And, like, a lot of that, that wasn't even, like, a relationship thing. We just... No, no. Because these days, it's so hard to, like, find time to, to see people just fucking with jobs and everything. So we, we actually, made sure we have yeah. those days to see our friends. And we started that before we had girlfriends. Mm-hmm. And, and it's... God, that's not changing. That's the thing. It's like, I, I feel like a lot of people might have been, like... Ooh, You know sorry, what I mean? Like, it, it might yeah. have changed if, if like, entering into mm-hmm. a, a serious relationship... And but like no, it's yeah. but if if I had gotten sacred, if I had gotten a partner and they weren't okay with that, I'd be like nah. Unless it was a very good reason, like if Monday was the only day they were free. Yeah. And then I talked to you guys and we changed to like a Wednesday or some shit. Yeah. I know you box on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just so that's one thing. And then the other part of the question is this: this one dude, I, I don't even know what to say. You, you're clingy. 
Yeah, I mean, stop like, being so clingy. And it's also like if if your if your definition of like a successful couple is that you stop seeing your friends, you're chasing the wrong dream, my dude. Yeah, like, exactly. It's, it that's not that's not the goal. Mm-hmm. Like, and also, if you're trying to compare your situation to someone else's when their situation is real different because they're in the relationship, it's not going to really be a good comparison even just trying to like drag people down because there's also sort of like that bitterness behind yeah, this exactly. being like well aren't they clingy why aren't, yeah. why aren't you considering them clingy but they're also in a very different situation yeah so yeah um, this boy needs Jesus <laughs> or what are we going to call our our mandible oh he needs what do we call him, these things dry mans ooh dry mans okay dry mans and are they, slappers are they gender neutral Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone's got them. Everybody, um, everybody got dry mans. I'm, I'm trying to think of like a. Good and like you can sort scrape of like... those sharp dry mans off each other for additional pleasure. Like, ooh, they get a little flaky when you're aroused. And you can uh, season your drinks with uh, dry man flakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call mine a plurbus. Isn't that a thing? A plurbus? I don't think so. There's a pubis. I think a plurbus is a different word, but that's okay. Okay. Well, I thought it was okay. a slapper, but... Here's... I mean, that's like... That's one of the names for it. Oh, you know okay, I mean? like, yeah. like a dick, a cock. Yeah, yeah, That's not what it's called, but that's what we call it. A dick and a mean? cock are the same thing? Could be. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just a couple of red hot dicks. Mm. Um, okay, you ready? Yep. We have uh, time for one more. Okay, this one so is... This, uh, if you haven't guessed the theme by now... Yeah, this is your last chance. Uh, so this is by Fortis Omni. Can you hit me one more time? Fortisomni. Fortisomni. Perfect. Why do you girls like eating ass? Maybe this was asked before, but I'm just curious. I hear about it everywhere. I d- <laughs> <laughs> I d- uh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I feel like this is the same person who said this porn. Maybe. And <laughs> or the same person, the same clingy guy. Uh, we're just like everyone like no one wants to be clingy with me everyone's, everyone's eating just, ass everyone's just trying to eat my ass just those girls they're eating all the ass hey girls can you just relax let me not see my friends and stop trying to eat my ass um what why do you why girls I'm only gonna answer this I'm just gonna yell it down the earphones why girls why I, do you love it I don't think any lady has ever tried to go to town on my butthole no me neither not not with her mouth they have one person just yeah. slip an errant finger. I think I think like, every, real real tentatively. Just every, like, I think everyone's had that girl who's been like, like I've read this in Cosmo. Yeah, but like that at least is enthusiastic. This one's just like a little shy finger, a little, little like tentative little yeah. boop. Let like, me tell you. Let me tell that's you. That's not the way nothing, to do it. Nothing is getting in to my butthole. Not, if not you're, tentatively. If, if you're just gonna like lightly tap it, yeah, that's, that's the way to get me to tense up anything. You tap me anywhere, and I'm gonna like. You're like, oh it, wow! It's literally a thing. You're like, <laughs> like if if you go to like touch someone and they don't want to be touched, they're gonna like recoil and tense up. Mm. And let me tell you, my butt, it's made for tensing. I think that's Willie Nelson's song. My butt right? is made for tensing, and, and that's, that's just, just what, what she'll do. do. One of these days, this butt is gonna tense, tense all over your you. dry man's. <laughs> oh, you could probably penetrate someone with your dry man's. I guess you could DP them, maybe. God. <laughs> That's See, I feel like mine movie. is kind of sensual. Yours, no, are yours is like a, a kind of horror. Yours is like a sticky child's toy, and it's also something that looks like the alien creature from Alien, the chest burster, the and face also hugger. it basically slips out of your butt and is sticky and weird. It what color is it? Pubis. It's like a light lilac. <laughs> it looks like a horror tail butt shit. Like, no, it's not good. It's terrible. Is it sticky? <gasps> wow. The truth has come out. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the last episode, boys. Yeah, fuck you. You got up on my dry mans. I'm gonna get all over your little flapper. Anyway, yeah. yeah I, this why, why girls? Why have you have you ever eaten ass? Uh, no. I've done it once. Really? There was a girl who was just like super into butt stuff, yeah. and she was like, "No one's ever done it. I've never found anyone to do it." Um, she's and she like took immaculate care of it. Yeah, and you know, and, you know, and I was just like, there's one day we were like in her living room. And like just fucking on the couch, and she was just like in that like I was like, mm-hmm. you know what? I yeah. treated her to this. I'll do it for her. And let me tell you, I didn't enjoy it, and I did it for Thing is barely like, any time. I, I, but I, yeah, but she lost her goddamn mind. Yeah, the time that's the that thing. I did like, it. and I, I was just like, okay, I would, but 
Yeah, but uh, no one. No, I haven't really been with any people who've been like super into butt stuff. Yeah, some people have been like butt pioneering. You know, they want to start off, and like yeah. that's not really a start of thing. Yeah, exactly. I think I would. It would definitely not be a spur of the moment thing. It would be a let's make sure we prepped. You know, yeah, no, everything clean, and that's and like, if that's you're why with someone who is, like, she, yeah, she yeah. literally, like, I think, went through like a routine yeah. care because this is all she wanted. Yeah, if you're into butt stuff, you're usually pretty good at maintaining that little butt garden. Yeah, um, and, yeah I, I think I'd be cool with it. I don't really give a shit. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I douche. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's. I just feel like this person doesn't get it. It feels good, and people like making their partners feel good. So deal with it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. If, like every, the, if everyone's there, doing we go. It, like, it. like if it's like being like, whoa, why do people like, like rubbing penises? Why you, why you girls like rubbing dicks? Why are you always trying to suck my dick? <laughs> what are you doing? You know, this person has never had anybody try to eat their ass. Unless, unless he's kind of like, maybe he's never he, had anything else. No, 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 no. Maybe he's, maybe it's like, like my experience with women and my nipples, mm-hmm. where like. Every woman he's ever had sex yeah. with has just been like, maybe this Let guy me get a taste of that butthole. Just hole. has uh, the best booty. I mean, maybe. But from the question, I'm assuming that he's never had a hand job. He's never had a blow job. He maybe hasn't had sex. Probably not. I mean, that's but it's if just that's all that people just flip is, him over and they're like, give me it, and he's like, I I don't understand. I don't want this, please. Yeah. That's Everyone's where just, I poop from. Yeah. Just, let, just let, let's have normal sex. I just want missionary. <laughs> and all he gets is a tongue in the butt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's his problem. Is like th- literally, he's, maybe he his needs butt to, is like a tongue magnet. He needs like, to anti squats. Yeah, you just unsquat hey, a let lot. Let me tell you, you you want to know how to ruin your butt? You go to fucking Europe for a month and drink <laughs> nothing but beer and eat nothing but cheese. That's fucking... all I do, and my butt is spectacular. Yeah, but you cycle, not in the winter. Nah. All right, get in, get going. Okay, this is write us write us home. This is our last one. This is by Lieutenant Diane. What? Um, that's my Forrest Gump impression. Oh. But Dan? No, I think this is the no-legged war vet. Does it harass women? I mean, maybe. Oh, Dan Had could... a girl judge me for having one pic on Instagram. This girl I met on a dating website was hot. Nine out of ten. Ooh. She's talking a lot. Lightning fast answers. Then she asks if I have Instagram. I told her I just made it. It's nothing to look at. A few minutes go by. No request accepted. Then she says... It's kind of scary because I don't know if you're real. <laughs> 20 minutes go by. Then I say, you know what Instagram does improve more than a dating app, right? Yes, I know, she says. And that's it. What the fuck? Do people really judge you based on fucking Instagram? Oh, God. Well, we got another serial killer here. Yeah. Doesn't want a social media print. Doesn't want to be tracked down via his images. <laughs> um, his only fucking... Picture is that one from uh, Dwight from The Office who's wearing like the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just of like fucking Momo. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, like, yeah, I think it's kind of reasonable if I was like, oh, look at your like, okay, so I assume they didn't meet in person. I assume not, no. Because from the start, I, I think I had it sounds this like they ghosted. Where, yeah, yeah, like they started talking and she was like, hey, I want to see more about you. And he was like, what? Like, yeah, like, yeah, sure, it doesn't show you more than a, a dating app, but at the same time, dating app will, what, four pictures, five pictures? So, here's the thing, and I want to make sure, he only has one picture on his Instagram. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, if you, like, Tinder, it's like, what, five pictures or whatever? Yeah, I don't know. Five pictures and all, a brief bio, but that's also heavily catered towards dating. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you look at my Instagram, especially when I was on Tinder, it's not just all these pictures of me, like, looking good and, like... My shirt's slightly unbuttoned. You can see that, like, hint of, like, pack. Like, I'm not doing that on the daily. So you see me out with the boys having drinks or, like, petting a cute dog or, like, climbing or just being a fucking dumbass. And then you, like, if you have 80 pictures, if they're all catered and perfect and showing me in a certain sense, you learn a lot about me. Even if they're all the exact same pictures that are sent to Tinder, then you know that that's how I live my life. And you can get a read of my personality. If they're not that and they're messy and weird and it shows my personality in a different way, you definitely learn more about people. So it's not the same as a dating app. Unless you only have one picture, in which case the dating app tells you more. I mean, putting this guy's obvious aggression and frustration aside. Well, that's um, a whole other problem. Yeah. I, I, I get it in the sense of like, 
if if someone swiped right on you on mm-hmm. a dating app and they were like, "Do you have Instagram?" And you're like, "Ah, oh, no, sorry, I don't, I don't yeah. use it." Would they have the same reaction? Would they be like, "Well, I have no way of knowing if you're real," and if that's if that's your like metric of being mm-hmm. on online dating, then yeah. like it's kind of skewed because you're literally on a platform that's like mm-hmm. I'm going to say yes and whether or not I would fuck this stranger. Yeah, like that's that's no, kind no, of a weird. I totally get you. I I'm just answering his like confusion as to why someone want to yeah. see his. That was the bit I was addressing. Uh, I do feel like if you know if someone's like, oh, do you have Instagram? And you're like, no, and they're like, whoop. Yeah, that's that's a bit shitty. But also, I'm imagining that's not how it went, judging by how angry and weird he is in this. I'm sure his responses were less than stellar. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Um, but, like, I know pretty much the only time that I ever had, like, trouble on Tinder or, like, failed mm-hmm. during Tinder was, like, when people asked for my Instagram. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why, because, uh, like, pretty much all of my... Tinder pictures were from my Instagram. Yeah, but not all of your Instagram was Tinder pictures. Yeah, but I don't. It's I don't take a whole lot of selfies. Like a lot of my Instagram is either fucking like D and D Pathfinder shit, or like pictures of my cat, or pictures of like traveling and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna judge your Instagram right now. D- do it. But yeah, I don't know. People be weird, but like fuck it. Don't get so hung up on it. If it's a constant thing, then tell them you don't have Instagram or. Yeah. use Instagram like one or the other but I doubt it's going to be a big deal and like ugh, just yeah I mean like I, I get it like you angry boy what is wrong with you yeah. the aggression and in like, this again, post like, ladies you got to be double sure that the people you're talking to exactly, are the people you're yeah. talking to That's but the like, thing, like let me tell you Guys got to worry about that too. Yeah. Because the amount of dates I went on where I was just like, oh, you're actually 20 years older or like 150 pounds heavier. You are really skilled at internet art. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Like any number of things where I'm just like, you're You're, nothing like your profile. Yeah. yeah. Either physically or like the way you Mm -hmm. talked or like whatever. Have you seen that terrifying app? There's an app and you take a picture of yourself and it gives you like every fuck it like hones in you click like the eye button and it gives you the eyes and it's like change color change oh, yeah, yeah. size change like blah 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 and then you click the boob button and you make them bigger or smaller or I like thought you meant the one that like do you remember the one that rated the guys anonymously oh no you could like go yeah. on and like and uh a girl i was sleeping with at the time showed it to me i can't remember what it was called it was like a, someone's name i think right yeah um, I-, I looked it up and i had like five stars off someone i was like who who did i know this, this is the thing i had There's a bunch like, of reviews because i guess at the time i was like seeing a bunch yeah. of people and like a lot of it was positive except for one of the like like hashtags you could use was kind of a dick <laughs> <laughs> and i was like yeah they get it mm-hmm. well makes sense. they were looking at your channels like it's kind of a dick yeah it's dickish more of a more of a pluribus yeah yeah well which one did you use because you can now fold one in yeah, you can't have them both out. No, no, that's the oh, trade-off. Oh, God, no. If you do, like, there is the chosen one will come one day, uh, and if they can have them both out once. You can have his dry man's and his pluribus? Oh, you, you can, can have, he can you, whip- can, you can have dry man's, a pluribus, or dry man's and a dick. You can't have both. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, okay. But you can have a dry man's and a pluribus. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. The the sort of, like, first gen. Yeah. First genitalia. <laughs> yeah, you, you can have, like, one of... You can't have a pluribus and a dick at the same time. Gotcha, gotcha. Because, like... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it one, takes up the same slot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But but you can always have them dry mans out and flapping. <laughs> Just cinching. Okay, we need to end this. Yeah, we probably should have ended this 28 episodes ago. <laughs> what, um, 29? This is episode 29, yeah. Oh, boy. I have plus fucking new girls. So this is actually episode 30. Mm. Nope. Oh, what? Um, well, there goes my idea for episode 30. Yep. Um, thank you for joining our themed episode. Uh, let us know what you think it is. I know it's a little bit of a mystery, but uh, I believe you guys will figure it out. Yeah, you'll probably We drop it. some hints. Um, do, you have, uh, do you have some sex writing for us? I'm sure I could dig some out of my porny stash. Oh, let me... Can you know you, what? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? I can do you, or can I can... You, can you try to work the theme into even if the oh even if the kay. sex writing i'm sorry do you not think i haven't okay fair enough um okay here's a here's another here's another one that i kind of want you to do um if you could just integrate a diaper into one of these sex writing just just loosely okay good. i'll try thank you this is desert god by wilbur smith her hair was piled high when she shook her head it came cast- 
skating down in a glowing wave over her shoulders, and fell as far as her knees. Jesus. This rippling curtain did not cover her breasts, which thrust their way through it like living creatures. They were perfect rounds, white as mare's milk, and tipped with ruby nipples that puckered as my gaze passed over them. Her body was hairless. Her pedenda was also entirely devoid of hair. Hold on, hold on. Is pedenda also made of genital? I can only assume. Okay. On the tips of her inner lips protruded shyly from the vertical cleft. The sweet dew of feminine arousal glistened upon them, or would have if she was not wearing a diaper. Oh, you got me. You got me good. <clears throat> now, can you repeat that? Did, did you say the sweet dew? Sweet dew. Jew? Yeah, like morning Jew. Oh, I thought you were saying Jew as in Jewish. No, no, there was not a... <laughs> Oi, me! It's just one of their gods, and we praise the sweet Jew of feminine arousal. Um, well, episode name right there. <laughs> uh, what's, what's a pedenda? I'm locking it up. I'm sorry, guys. I we bet it's a we... lilac hand, sticky hand that comes out of your pubis. Uh, ooh, there's a pedendal nerve. I'm going to implement that in my mm. sexy... Mm. Oh, Wow. Mm. Okay, ready for this bullshit description? Yeah, hit me. Uh, so it's a person, a person's external genitals, especially a woman's. So, so what, what's the word again? Pedenda. Pedenda. So my so, dick is technically a pedenda. Yeah, less so. Also, <laughs> a pleurbus. Less so. Pleurbus. Pleurbus is also a pedenda. Also, is a pedenda. you dry man's. Yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. We did it. Yeah. Pedenda. We learned a new word. We're teaching everyone everything about also, our new genitals. Or are they old genitals? Because what were they referring to? We don't know. It's true. Literally, like, any of those things could have been a pleurus. It's probably a woman's genitals because it says, especially them, but women also have pedendas and pleurbums and also dry mans. Yeah. So, both of which are... Pe- Guys, we have just... We're, fucking, rev- we're revolutionizing. We have opened Not up, only anatomy, but sex. Man. We did it. Um, thank you very much for listening. This has been our... <laughs> we still are. This has been... I don't know what the fuck this has been, but it's been something, and we've yeah. done it, and you've you've enjoyed it with us, yeah. hopefully. Uh, um, if this was a crime, you're fucking part of it now. Yeah, you're an accomplice. Run hide. They after us. The general police. They're coming. Ready or not. Here, Here I, I come. come. I'm gonna find you. And stroke them dry mans. Ready Pedanta or not. <laughs> Here I come. Pluribus um. hides and your dick flops out because they take up the same compartment. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Goodbye. If you have a question, I have a lot, <laughs> tons of them, really. Yeah. Um, you can hit us up on Twitter at FCK underscore buddies. Um, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com <laughs> slash FCK buddies podcast. Um, if you want to email us directly to maybe get a, a more direct line into the, whatever the fuck's happened today, um, you can, uh, you can email us at, uh, uh, fbuddiespodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we got a new listener today, so... Actually, you know what? I, I want to do a little shout-out. Uh, three of my good friends are leaving the city, and they're traveling away, one of which is one of our best listeners. And uh, I know traveling is scary, but it's also a really great adventure, and we're just going to wish you the best of luck, and you're going to have the best fucking time. Yeah, also find Wi-Fi, and, and like the reason I got into podcasts was because I was traveling. Mm-hmm. Like I listened to Magic Tower, Hello from the Magic Tavern and uh, The Avengers Zone, yeah. No, I was just telling from Magic Tavern when we were traveling. Um but like that's that's how I got through mm-hmm. the bu- like eight hour bus rides we were on. So yeah. like, podcasts are the best. But also New City, uh, new dating adventures. Hit us up. Yeah. Also, also new relationship th- adventures. And new listeners that you could tell Ooh, people, spread like, us like a weird plane. In your hostels, just be like, hey. No, hey, they're they're hey. moving. They oh. just moved to a new city. So it's it's shit. It's some scary big adventures, but yeah. it's gonna be cool. I thought you meant like they were traveling. No, like, no. Well, fuck. Okay. Um, Good luck. Good luck. Uh, Thanks for listening and and, uh, let your new friends know about us. You're the best. And you're going to do it real good. (laughs) Thank you to Josh Eagle and the Harvest Cities for their their song, uh, Paper Pedendas. Um, All right. uh, We need to end this. Because our friends are already at the bar we're supposed to go to. Oh, yeah. We're meant to be there in four minutes. That's not going to happen. So we finish with 
your boy, Dan. Actually, no, he's not your boy. He's no. a fucking, your dirt. Yeah. Finish with your dirt. Your blah. Your blah. Okay. He says, if my ex agreed to meet me. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Question mark? Just, just nothing. Well, Dan, you're not even writing full sentences anymore. Yeah. Uh, my name is Plurbus. And I am a, your driest man's. And uh, we are your fuck buddies. Go, uh, go exercise your new genitals. And take it slowly. But damn, or not. <laughs> <laughs>